What is up everyone? Welcome back to Swiggin' in 5 and Happy New Year's. It is now 2023. Uh, it's January 2nd, 2023 in fact. The time of this recording. And in, on January 1st I posted a video or posted a video and I posted a um like a comment on my community tab saying that I will no longer be doing commentary. Well, as you can tell, I'm doing commentary, so... Looks like I will still be able to do commentary, thankfully. So I'm happy about that. Uh, there is two people going to be moving in. There's already one person who's moved in already, but there's going to be someone else move, moving in soon. We'll just have to figure that out. Uh, but I do plan to still do commentary. Well, the, the issue was, I didn't want the person to hear me, you know, commentate and all that, because that's, in my opinion, it's kind of disrespectful because, like, the people, the person's trying to, like, enjoy whatever it is that they're, that they're doing, and, and they have to hear me talk in the process, so it's like, it's kind of dumb, you know, like, I wouldn't want to hear somebody just talking, you know, while I'm trying to... I guess I'm trying to play a game or whatever and someone's in there, someone's talking, right? It would be kind of annoying, right? So I don't want to be annoying for other people, you know? Like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be the annoying one, you know? So. Uh, but there's no one here right now. It's just me here at the moment. Um, the other person left earlier today. Um. I guess to go to work or something, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. I got a lot of skunk orbs. I need to sell some orbs here. I'll probably store those killer orbs. Let's go give this stuff to the... to Retso and then I'll sell stuff. Yeah, I'm glad that, that I don't have to stop doing commentary, though, because it would be very annoying if I had to. Just because people are moving in. I went the wrong way. Yeah, Matsutaki. I'm not sure what that unlocked, but maybe that one right there, marbled steak, I'm not sure. No, Matsutake rice, there it is. Alright. Boost magic. Rice gives you magic, guys, just remember that. So if you eat rice, you can start casting spells better. Fun fact. Here are these skunk orbs. You can just buy those anyway, so. Viper orbs, you can buy those. And gray Baku chainmail. Get rid of those, I guess. Everything else I'll store. I like, I like doing commentary though. I record a lot of videos, so. That should tell you right there that I enjoy uh, commentating. Anyway, I think I'm going to go power up the Doremi Elves, actually. I'm going to go level them up some. I'll be right back after I'm done leveling them up. Alright, so I went ahead and leveled up five of the six Doremi Elves. Remifa, Mifaso, Latidu, and Fasola. I'll level up uh, Solati later. So, yeah, I'll just wait on that. 
I want to buy some uh, cheesecake here. Rare cheesecake. I'm going to get a lot of that up to over 50. There we go. We'll check out the trading post here. Should be new rumors going around. Curry is a boom and sable. I don't care about that. Wine, beer, and tea. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we go to the... We recruited all the characters, so I don't think there's anything much we can do right now. I guess we just advance the storyline. Oh, we advance the storyline here. Okay. All right, I figured we had to go to the war room. Say that again. The Godwin soldiers are going to withdraw from Rainwall. Aren't you happy? Yes, yes, of course we are. Uh, so, uh, why did you... What I do is none of your business. Yes, yes, your highness. <coughs> so sorry, your highness. All right, so I've given you the message then. Oh, and one more thing, Salem. Why, of course, Your Highness. What is it? I want to talk to you about Lucerina. Come here. Hmm? Uh, yes, yes. Please, Your Highness, tell me about Lucerina. Well, she's... how can I put it? She's doing really well. Actually, she seems to have forgotten all about you. So now... You can rest in peace. Oh. Uh. So here's the thing about this. Did you really think I was going to forgive you? Huh. I'll explain what I'm talking about after. So like you as head of the Barros faction, I'm sure it will fall to ruin anyway. <laughs> so when I was younger, I uh, enjoyed that scene a lot. But I didn't really understand, like... Well, I'll just say I was young and stupid, let's just say that. I, I don't want to go into too much details, but yeah, I was young and stupid, and I don't think that was right of Silides, right? Like, revenge like that is not really the answer, you know? Yeah, Sparrows did a lot of bad things, but he didn't, he didn't deserve to die, you know? No one really does, to be honest with you. In my opinion. Now if someone does something like really really bad. Then maybe yes. Then. They may deserve to die. But if you didn't really do anything really bad. You've done bad things. That's fine. You know. But if you've done something really bad. And I don't need to describe what's really bad. You guys know what's really bad. I mean. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things, well not a lot of things, but there's a few things that are really bad. Then you might deserve to die, but if you've only done bad things in your life, it's not a big deal. We've all done bad things. We've all done a lot of good things, you know? And a lot of people, or, I don't know, I won't say a lot of people, but me, I've done a lot more good than bad. Obviously I've done bad. Never done anything really bad. Just done bad. So, and a lot of people I've known haven't really done anything bad, or really bad, I mean. It's just, that's just my thoughts on the whole thing. Did, did Solomon Barros do anything really bad? He stole a rune from a palace. Not really, it doesn't really justify him dying, you know. He stole a rune, oh my god. You know, it's not like 
that serious, you know. It's pretty serious because it's such a special rune. Uh, but did he deserve to die? No, of course not. What are you doing here? I'm just here to help you in case you don't have the stomach for it, in other words. Gazelle put you up to this, didn't he? He doesn't trust me to get the job done. Why? That pathetic little. If you can't handle it, just leave it to me. No need. I've already handled it myself. So yeah, the end of Solemn Barrows. Tragedy. He didn't deserve that. Sally's is the evil one. Or if she's being like brainwashed or whatever it is. Still her fault, nonetheless. Even if you've been manipulated and everything, if you commit a crime, it's on you. But now we can return to Rainwall. Basically, the moral of the story is don't do crimes, and you're, you're, you'll be good. Stay out of trouble. Trust me, take it from someone who knows, who used to be basically trouble. I can sell my pearls now. I don't want to. Oh, we can sell wine here now from now on. That's good. Wine sells for quite a lot here. 27.5. I don't know if it sells for more than Solfalina or not. Where's the armor shop at? Let me speed it up here. By the way, um, if you didn't get Arish earlier, you can recruit Solemn Barrows at this point. Okay, they don't have anything new here. They have the same stuff they had earlier. Okay. Sure. And there you go. There's no point really coming back here, really. Uh, access the trading post, I guess. But that's about it. Um, you can talk to the NPCs, but I'm not going to bother to do that. Uh, we've already... I'm already been over 100 episodes, so... I think talking to NPCs at this point is a bit redundant you know I've talked to ridiculous amount of NPCs in this playthrough so I'm good on that anyway I bought a um what is it uh a corruption shell by the way, if you ever buy the corruption shells, make sure to put half in your party so you get a discount because that's a lot of money lost if you don't. I don't want to store the cheesecake. I got a lot of chain metal cell. Among other stuff. Let me do that real quick. Obviously, I'm not going to sell the corruption shell. That'd be stupid. I'm going to sell this chain mail. Fire dragon armor is not bad. Hold on to it. Let's go over to the appraiser. I get to sell those. I already have those in the storage. Or one of those in the storage. Alright, let's go to the war room now. It's probably where we gotta go to advance the storyline. But yeah, I'll probably just record while the people are at work or whatever. And yeah, I'll set up my schedule, my sleep schedule, so I wake up 
around the time they're going to work or whatever, and then I can just start recording. Whenever they leave. Alright, here we go. It's just... It's just about over, your harness. It has been a rough ride, as rough as a ride in a mining cart. Not one of my carts, mind you. A human cart, I mean. We beavers have been busy as well. Busy as beavers. And we thank you all. Human, dwarf, beaver, dragon horse. Yep. And now it's time for the final battle. Sure took long enough. We the Dragon Cowboy shall ride into battle and deliver Godwin a crushing blow, your Royal Highness. We'll be ready for battle tomorrow, your Highness. What do you think? Let's wait a bit longer. Very well then, your Highness. If you have anything you need to take care of first, please do it now, your Highness. Well, let's talk to everybody first. The entire Dragon Cavalry awaits your command, your Royal Highness. We're tired, but we'll be just fine. Just as Commander Valia says, Armus has been maintaining a low profile. We drink some of my G Fuel. Now we can concentrate on the Godwins and Solfalena. Let's go, your Highness. Lord Rovery always admired the beauty of Solfalena. To think that now we must attack it. Nevertheless, I do realize that it is absolutely necessary. This war has gone on forever. We're going to attack the capital of Flana, our very own nation. I have very mixed feelings about this. Almost ready. You're in for a surprise, human. As I said the other day, the Godwins worry us as well, greatly in fact. We look forward to your victory so that this menace may be stamped out for both our sakes. Alright. Actually, let me go save it real quick. Alright, I went ahead and saved it. Let's go ahead and talk to Lucretia and we'll say we're ready. Yes. Ready for the funnel battle. Very well. Get a good night's sleep, everyone. You'll need it. And one more thing. I need not remind you that Sulphalena is home to the Sunrune. Sunrune possesses devastating power. It said that it once reduced half of the continent to ashes. That's highly unlikely to happen again, but it can't be completely ruled out either. I simply ask that those who fear for their lives leave the castle tonight. No questions asked. If you need food or money for your travels, please take it. And make sure this message gets to everyone. Alright. Night time in the castle. Alright, let's talk to everybody. I have a front row seat to witness my lady's brilliance during the Siege of Solfalena. I'm going to protect Lucretia right through to the final battle. So I want to go around talking to everybody, just like in every other Suikoden game, before the final battle. You can get dialogue with the characters and all that. Please turn in early tonight. We're going to need you at your best tomorrow, your highness. Sorry, no can do. I have to talk to everybody around here first. Hey, Kyle. Huh? Ah, oh, Prince. Thought I heard someone in here. Shouldn't enter a lady's room without permission, you know. Why are you here then? This room is 
just the way she left it. Alright, Prince, after you, I'll go ahead and lock it up. And don't worry, I'm not gonna go through her private stuff. No need to if you catch my drift. Oh my god. <laughs> Wish there was still a reason for me to stay up late around here. Little Lim was so beautiful at her coronation ceremony. She was so nervous, so sad, like a delicate ice sculpture that looked as if it could collapse at any time. She looks so much better when she's wearing that cute smile on her, of hers. Let's bring back the little limb we all know and love, shall we? Don't worry, I know you can do it, Razor. George Prime. It's not here. It's probably somewhere else. Let's go upstairs first. Uh, get that out of the way. I'm actually going to speed it up because there's no point in me going slow. I'm just going around talking to people, so... Get this quickly as I can. Like not calls me Traveler of the Night and Bearer of Stars, but I hardly deserve such a title. Though I see the stars that dwell within each of you, I could not possibly hope to know where fate may take you. And I myself am simply one star among many. Yep. 108 stars of destiny per game. Besides Swicken and Tactics, which only had like 50 or 60 characters, I think. So if you do 108 uh, plus, what, 6 games? Or no, 7. Yeah, 7 games plus 60. So 108 plus 7. Or I mean 108 times 7, I mean, you get, uh, plus the 60, you get 814. Now some of those are duplicate characters, like some characters are in multiple Swiggity games, but as close to that amount, if you think, like, we'll, we'll say probably 800 different characters in the Swiggity games, roughly, if you don't count the characters that recur. But maybe even in the 700s, the high 700s as well. But between, well, all right, so I'll just do a rough estimate. Between 750, just, just to be safe, between 750 and 800, just to be safe. Well, 750 and 8, 814. Uh, that's between, somewhere around there is a number of Swiggity characters that have been... Uh, but if you count up all the stars of destiny, it's 814, somewhere around in there. If Godwin falls, there won't be anyone left who knows about those ruins. But Four Eyes is smart enough to find his way there on his own. And now, now technically there's only 108 stars of destiny. Um, I'm talking about like all the characters combined, you know. Like, every different character, you know, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, I'm not saying there's 814 different stars. There's not. There's only 108 stars. But I'm talking about there's 800 or 700 and something different characters in the Swiggity Games is what I'm saying. Just so you guys aren't confused. I know for, I know there's only 108 stars. I know, I know that much. Each character has a different star. Uh, for each of the games. You're planning to leave here once the war is over, right? So for instance, the Chisato star is a different character in each game. I'd plan to stick around here once you were gone, but I don't think that that'll be necessary. I won't find what I'm looking for here. Something's been bugging me. There's a group Known as the Crimson Pilgrims, mentioned in the Centaur legend Keeley told me. 
And I'm sure it couldn't be, and yet... Hmm. Might be a, my, this might be my chance. Let me talk to him again. When things get back to normal, I'd like to ask Keely more about it. I'm planning to leave this country, that is, after the war is over, of cor course. Okay, so you can't talk to him multiple times. To get more dialogue. Oh yeah, we already went that way. Okay, so we went... Let's go downstairs. Talk to some people downstairs. Oh, Lucerina's not there. Oh, got a scene here. Damn it, no takers again. And I thought the ladies would be butting like crazy before the big battle. Burr. I just can't figure out why they don't like me. But wait. This is no time to be carrying on like this. I've just got to stop being so picky. I'm going to propose to one lady after the other until one of them says yes. <laughs> uh, dude, just ask each lady out. You don't have to ask someone to engage you right away. You're going to get a 0% chance of that ever working. Unless you're doing it, unless you're saying it as a joke. If you're saying it as a joke, then some might find it amusing. But if you're not saying it as a joke, then it's never going to work. I'm going to get engaged tonight no matter what. One of them will get it. I just know it. He's sticking his tongue out too, which is weird. That dude is so weird. Like, holy crap. And that's come from me, who's also weird. They say this be a decisive battle, but all battles are decisive. Do not be too concerned. A blade sharpened too often will easily shatter. Students of rune magic are an interesting lot. Tee hee. Hee 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 hee. This castle is actually quite a scary place. And I'm not talking about the castle itself, rather what's in it. Yeah, it's like me with water. I'm not scared of the water. Why would, I, why would I be scared of water? I'm scared of what's in the water. If there's nothing in the water, then I wouldn't be scared. But there is stuff in the water. That's what makes me scared of water. Like, I'll easily jump into the water, but if it's a safe spot. Like, if it's... Like, out in the river, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump in a river, obviously. Your Highness, please. Tell my lady to relax a little bit. I feel so sorry for her. My lady always seems to be brooding over this thing or that thing. Hey, Prince. I'm thinking about doing business with Armus when the war is over. Traders speak a universal language. Before you know it, we'll have friendly relations with Armus too. Just watch my... Grandfather's big old abacus isn't just a decoration. I've been listening to soldier gossip ever since I s set up shop here. They're my customers after all, selling whatever armor I happen to have on hand. Just won't cut it anymore. I like to get involved in the manufacturing process by teaming up with craftsmen. I think I'll spend tonight tending to my collection. When this is all over, let's throw a crazy party. I don't have much luck with that stuff. Usually I always disappear before the food comes out. But not this time. This time I'm gonna eat no matter what. Don't you go telling her that I came here. Good night. 
I've got a lot of work left, but I think I'll call it a day. It, it's okay. I'll leave the rest for when I return from Solfalina. That way I'll have to come back here. I'm going to be the only one left. What a pain. Your Highness, how about using my business card as a good luck charm? How does it work? Of course it does. It gives you peace of mind. And we're already at 30 minutes. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this in this episode. Will this barbarous human war never end? I shouldn't talk like this. It's simply a barbarous human affair. It is my problem too. Because of Asado. I'm going to do whatever it takes to end this barbarous human conflict. If your highness is defeated, Godwin will gain ground without having to rely on the power of the queen. In fact, he won't even have to revere the holy land anymore. He will probably even start mining the golden lunas. The holy land that was protected by Haswar and by generations of oracles before her will be defiled. Okay, we get a scene here in the infirmary. Prince. Hey, visiting hours are over, you know. Well, normally that would be, but I'll make an exception tonight. Leon, she's awake. We can continue our conversation later, Leon. Okay, Dr. Silva. I guess I'll go check on my other patients. Hey, Leon, how, how you doing, sweetie? Ah, oh, man, the prince is here, too. Stupid prince. Always button in on my game. Always messing up. Hey, watch it. What are you doing? Visiting hours are over. Get back to your room and go to sleep. <laughs> Get wrecked, Roy. Hey, let me go. I said, let me go. You old hag. Old bag. How does the prince get to visit? No fair. No fair. I wonder what Roy wanted. He is sure hard to figure out sometimes. Hard to figure sometimes. So. It's almost time. Yep. Prince, tomorrow we can... We can... Uh, we can finally save the princess, right? Well, I guess you'd better get some sleep. Tomorrow's a big day. Good night, Prince. Hey, Galleon, when I was a younger man, all I thought about was being a good Queen's Knight. I didn't pay attention to anything else. And I put Silva through all through hell because of it. Come to think of it, nothing much has changed. <laughs> hmm. Oh, uh, never mind. I said, never mind. Now off of you. Talk to Leon again. Good night, Prince. So I'm not going to be able to fully talk to everybody in this episode. We'll save the rest for the next episode, but I'll get a little bit done. Get a little bit more done here. I don't mind Lou helping the professor out. Oop. Huh? I just tell her. I should just tell her that. No, Lou's not the type to listen well. In fact, she's not the type to listen at all. Don't bother me. Can't you see I'm busy? Talk to apprentice number one if you need something. Now, why did I start calling him apprentice number one? Let's see. When the second apprentice came, I started calling them number one and number two to tell them apart. Hey, 
Where did apprentice number two go, anyway? Eh, yeah, who cares? Gears are all that matter. What is it? Yes, I know. You're off, or you're going off the battle. These gears are far more important to me. Now go away. <laughs> wow, he's obsessed with gears. He must like the gear gear. If he if he if he played Yu-Gi-Oh, he'd 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 like the gear gear type. Should the ruinous light cover the land, Erish must once again open the door and descend into the darkest depths. Perhaps Erish's meeting was meant to prevent that from happening when chosen by the Dawn Rune. He provided me with a treasure trove of ancient tomes, a delightful yield for which I deeply thank you. Okay, all the dwarves are here. They've got some people from Lord Lake and Rathleet. Oh, your highness, you know, just tell to flatter us old folks. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What's up? All these old folks being here with Roger, what do they plan to do? <laughs> at least at least bring Asara in here, at least, as well. That's a little too much. This is a little too much for old Raja. Let uh, Kasara <laughs> get on get on it as well. <laughs> I'm being stupid, guys. Don't pay any attention to me. Being perverted. Hey, Sonny, what do you want? This is a gathering for us old timers. We don't need you, young whippersnappers. Ha! Huh, I'm just pulling your leg. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you green cup lad that is if you like tea I never thought I'd live to see the day when beavers and humans were able to get along so well now if only I live to see your highness's victory I could die in peace I never thought I'd still be able to work as hard at this age and it's not just me the people of Lord Lake probably think so too. It's only possible because you saved us from despair, Your Highness. Would you like some tea, Your Highness? I'm gonna, I'm going to make some. I think the map of Flana should be just about complete now. There were so many times when I feared I'd have to redraw major portions, but your highness came through every single time. I'm sure his majesty fared rest in peace, thanks to your highness. I'm not going to explore that part in this episode. I know you're faced with circumstances beyond your control, Your Highness, but war is a fundamentally moral act. I can only hope this will be the end to all the carnage. I agree. It doesn't really solve anything, it just... It's just all bad in my opinion. My orchestra has staged a successful comeback still. wonder if I should be satisfied with where we are right now. No. No, no. No, no, no. There must be more. There must be some new horizon that mere mediocrities could never even imagine. I'm going to continue my work. You should do the same. Um... I, I wanted to do a puppet show about you, Prince. I, I'm currently working on the script. When it is ready, I, I'd be happy if you'd come see it. Ah, I wanted to be the one who made your meal, Prince. I may not look like it, but I'm just quite a good cook. I throw all the way to man's 
money is through his stomach. He he he. <laughs> wow. Came all the way to help, but they told me to scram. I guess I was nibbling too much. But it was just so good. A hungry girl like me couldn't help herself. Must make every effort to ensure enough food is prepared. Everyone must be well fed for the coming battle. I'm going I'm gonna help my dad all night. It's not a matter of whether you are going to win, it's a matter of what comes afterward. The nobles in the Queendom's army are in disarray. Rebuilding the nation will require great tenacity. With all the capable people that have gathered here, things might just turn out, be out better than I expected. Maybe the island nations should think about the implications of maintaining rune cannons. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. In the next episode, we'll continue exploring the castle and talking to people. Thanks for watching. Later.